With the emergence of the Omicron COVID variant, researchers are racing to answer the same question. How well do today's vaccines work against Omicron? According to preliminary data, the answer is not very well. A new UK study shows that two doses of AstraZeneca provided no detectable levels of protection against infection. Pfizer fared slightly better, but protection dropped off dramatically by 30 times compared to the Delta strain. One Taipei-based physician is advising unvaccinated people to avoid AstraZeneca altogether. The CCC says the data emphasizes the need for AstraZeneca recipients to get booster shots. Booster shots are rolling out. The Expo Dome is now administering half shots of Moderna. As of Monday, more than 30,000 people have gotten vaccinated, or about 50 percent of the eligible population. On Tuesday, the CECC's online platform opened for its 18th round of vaccine appointments. In this round, only first and second shots of Pfizer will be available through the website, although other brands may be available through hospital drop-ins. But new research has found worrying proof that today's vaccines are less effective effective against the Omicron COVID variant. It's not that the protective effect is zero. There is still an effect. Adenovirus vaccines like AstraZeneca have a powerful stimulatory effect on T-cells. So if you get vaccinated with AZ and you achieve a T-cell response, and then you get a booster shot of another brand, I believe that would generate quite a good immune response. According to a new UK study available as a preprint, two doses of AstraZeneca offered almost no protection against Omicron infection. 28 days after full vaccination, neutralizing titers dropped below thresholds in all but one sample. In comparison, two doses of Pfizer fared slightly better, with nearly all samples retaining detectable amounts of neutralizing titer. According to an Austrian study, a mixed course of Pfizer and AZ or two doses of Pfizer had a slightly better effect against Omicron. Another study done in the UK suggests that a booster shot of Pfizer can increase protection to more than 70 percent although researchers said more follow-up is needed. So two doses of AZ might not be sufficient protection against Omicron, but there are already people who have gotten two doses of AZ. So they will need a third dose and even a fourth dose. If you haven't been vaccinated before, then the recommendation should be choose a better vaccine, such as an mRNA vaccine. If a large number of expats return over spring festival, then the seven-day hotel quarantine policy will of course have its risk. But if everybody follows the rules and properly completes the seven days of enhanced self-health management, it won't necessarily be the case that fish will slip through the net. Despite assurances, the holiday quarantine policy is still raising trepidation as the number of imported cases increase. The CECC says it's considering adjustments to its booster shot program to raise Taiwan's defenses against Omicron.